Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Python functions. What is Python function? A function is a block of code which only runs when it's called. Function in Python is defined by def statement, followed by the function name and parentheses. We will define the first function. Def function 1 print hello world and print have a good day. We will run it and already we created the function here and we will call the function and see the result. When we call the function, function, parentheses, hello world, have a good day for all. This is two statements. Arguments or parameters. We can pass the information into function as arguments or parameters. Define function to the parameter name. Print hello, it's string text plus name. We will call the function function to Jimmy. We will pass Jimmy to the function. And function to we will pass Tim to the function. And when we run it, hello Jimmy, hello, the name for first calling Jimmy, for second calling Tim, hello Tim. Arguments numbers. We can pass more than one argument. Define function three, first name, last name. Print hello plus first name plus space plus last name. We define the function. We call the function now function three, ak, comma, else. We will run it. Hello, AK is safe. This is first name and this is last name, which defined here. Define function three, first name, last name. Print hello plus first name plus space plus last name. Function three we will pass ak only first name we will run and we'll see what will happen it raise error why because function 3 missing one required positional argument last name if we have two arguments we have to pass two arguments not one not three not four it should be two because here two arguments asterisk argument if you don't know how many arguments that will pass into the function we can add asterisk before parameter before parameter name in the function definition. The function will receive a tuple of arguments and can access item in the parameters. Here define function for asterisk name. Print hello plus name of index one. Function for we will call the function Jamie Tim, Kevin. Here, asterisk. We will run and see the result. Hello, Tim. The function print name with index 1. Here, this index 0, 1, 2. And we put here index 1. 
this term. If we want to print all names, we have to use for loop. For i in n, print hello plus i. Function for Jimmy, Tim, Kip. We will run and see the result. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Tim. Hello, Kevin. We can add any names, any numbers here. Keyword arguments. We can also send arguments with the key value. Here, define function 5, first name, last name. Print hello, first name, last name. We will call function, function 5, first name equal ak, last name equal el Said. This first name should be same as this. Last name here and here also. And we will run hello ak el Said. First name and last name. Define function 5. First name, comma, last name. Print hello plus first name. We can use first name only or last name. Calling the function, function 5, first name, equal Akram, last name, el say. We will use one parameter here, but we have to send two parameters because we have two parameters here in function definition. Run hello Akram. Asterisk, asterisk, keywords, argument. If you don't know how many keyword arguments that will be sent to the function, you can add asterisk asterisk before the parameters name in the function definition. The function will receive a dictionary of arguments and can access items. Define function six asterisk asterisk names. Brent first name is name first name last name plus names last name the names defined here the same variable name or the same argument function six first name equal ak last name el said we will run. It's working. First name is AK. Last name is it's Said. Two print statements. Default parameter value. If we call the function without arguments, it use the default value. We will see in this example. Define Function 7, country equal USA, brand hello, plus country, when we call function 7 and pass parameter India, it will print hello India, but if we call function 7 without parameter, it will use the default value. Country is equal USA. We will run and see the result. First calling, hello India. Second calling, hello USA, the default parameter. Passing a list as an argument. Define function 8, country, 
for I in country, print I. Call function 8, it's Python list, USA, India, Egypt. And we will run it. It will print USA, India, Egypt. The, the parameter is a Python list. Return values. Define function 9. The parameter number. Return number square. Print function 9 and the parameter 3. Print function 9 and send parameter 5. Run it. It's 9 squared. 3, 9, 4, 5, 25. Calculate net salary. Define function 10. Basic salary, total allowances, total deductions. Net salary equal basic salary plus total allowances minus total deductions. And brand net salary equal net salary, which calculated here. Function 10, we have to pass three parameters. 2,000, 1,800. And run it. Net salary, 2,200. Local and global variable. Define function 10. Basic salary, total allowances, total deduction, and calculate net salary, and calling function 10, and pass the arguments, and print net salary equal net salary, which calculated here, inside the function. We will run and see the result. Here, it raising error. Why? Name net salary is not defined. But it's here. But net salary, it's a local variable. You can use it only inside the function. You cannot use it outside the function. But if we need to use it outside the function, we have to make net salary is global variable. Use global keyword net salary and calculate net salary and we can use it outside the function. We will run net salary to equal 2200. You have to take care about local and global variable. Local variable only you can use it inside the function. But global you can also use it outside the function. But you have to use global keyword. This everything you need to know for Python function. And my recommendation, you have to practice the function. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in next video.